Hey guys, welcome back to the Style Chair. So the last week or at least 10 days back, I taken a poll on my Instagram asking for video requests and this one was one of the highly requested one. This one is gonna be about my hair care regime. How I take care of my hair, the color, the curls, everything is gonna be revealed today. So hang on and watch the whole video. So I'm gonna first chatter on all about my hair. My hair today actually have been only washed um, three days back so the roots have gotten a little greasy and the rest of my hair have gotten frizzy here. Obviously the curls have gone out of shape, the ends are still intact but my hair is curly and there are a lot of you people who have curly hair, frizzy hair and you all aren't able to keep the curls so one of the reasons why everyone loves my hair is because I actually keep my curls and look so different. So I've always had wavy hair, it's just that I maintain my curls and this is natural hair, this has not been permed as a lot of people think, this is how my hair is naturally and I keep it that way. So let me tell you a few things about curly hair, curly hair are never silky, they would feel or they are really soft but they never look shiny, these are just things that you can't help, hashtag curly hair problems. So that's the things about curly hair um so with my hair i take a lot of care whether it's holy or it's going for a swim i am very finicky only because of my hair and i take a lot of care for it and that's how it is the way it is my hair's uh, colored as well i've been coloring it for years now i'm a hairstylist and i know how to take care of the color so color really doesn't bother me at all Curly hair actually are the most beautiful hair. As a hairdresser, I love wavy hair and curly hair because they're so versatile. You can do so much with it. You can blow dry it, you can iron it, you can style it. Updos are just amazing on curly hair. So I personally love wavy and curly hair. So I love my hair. Absolutely no complaining. But during my school and college days, I've actually gone and straightened my hair four times and then I just gave it up. The minute I started hairdressing and I knew how to keep my curls, I just kept my curls ever since. So here I am today and I'm gonna tell you even the smallest of tips and tricks to keep your wavy hair and curly hair at its best. The first thing we're gonna start with is care for your curly hair. So if y'all are oiling your hair and thinking oil is gonna make it soft, no. Oil is not gonna make your hair soft. Oiling is for the scalp, it's to nourish your scalp, it is definitely not to make your hair soft. So if you're oiling your hair and you're scrubbing it out with shampoo, it's definitely not making it soft in any way. The thing that you really need to do to care for your hair is go in for a deep conditioning treatment. You can do a spa, you can even do a protein treatment, that's a cysteine, it lasts for 3 months. It actually smoothens your curls a little bit and it makes it softer. So these are the things you can do. Apart from that, when I wash my hair, I actually use um, cold water for the last one minute after my conditioner when I'm rinsing my hair. That helps to seal your cuticles and it adds shine to your hair. The other thing that I do is I do not rub my hair when I am towel drying it. I actually just use a towel and softly just absorb all the water from my hair. I have seen the dif in fact I have seen the difference when I've rubbed my hair with a towel after a wash and when I actually very softly dab the water off. There is a difference guys. When it comes to curly and wavy hair, all these small things make that world of a difference. Like I said, curly hair and wavy hair are very difficult to manage. So of course it needs that extra bit of care. So apart from your shampoo and conditioner, you definitely need a serum or a leave-in cream in addition to your normal shampoo and conditioner. That's the only way your hair is going to be softer and maybe in comparison to people with straight and silky hair. So you have to go ahead and use a hair serum or a leave-in conditioner every time when you wash your hair when your hair is damp. A serum can be used even after a day or two when your hair is getting frizzy, just rub on a little bit and put it on. I always use a serum which I will show you in my whole hair care routine which I'm gonna show, take you through. You need a hair product to style your curls or your waves, whether it's a texturizing spray, whether it's a leave-in um, texturizing cream or it's a hair mousse, you need something that keeps the curl the way it is. When you wash your hair, the curls look really nice. But what happens later everything just goes flat within a few hours so a product is what will make the curls 
stay intact just the way they are. It gives you that little bit of stiffness that your hair needs for your style to stay as it is. So use a product. So three steps. Take care at home or go to a salon and get a deep conditioning or a hair spa done. Secondly, take care while you're washing your hair of a lot of factors that I mentioned. And thirdly, the aftercare after your wash. So all these things used with these three steps, you're going to have beautiful curls over you. Since this is a home video, I'm going to show you what you can do at home. And in fact, I just got a hair spa done. Four five days back for my hair, so I'm definitely not going to be able to show you that. But the first step we're going to start with is oiling your hair. I know I told you guys oil does nothing for the softness of your hair, but I was surprised too, and I found the Kama Ayurveda Bringadi hair treatment. This intense hair treatment has worked miracles for my hair. It is definitely gone against what I always say: oil doesn't make your hair soft. This made my hair soft. I'm not going to go on talking about this because I even spoke about this in my June favorites video, which you all can watch. I think it's a previous video before this, so go ahead and check it out there. For my wash, I am going to be trying out my Moroccan oil shampoo, which Moroccan oil very nicely sent me, and their conditioner. So I'm going to be using these. These three products have been actually my monsoon rescue this monsoon season for my hair. So you're gonna see how it looks with just these. I'm gonna put the oil a lot on the scalp and just a little bit on the hair. I'm gonna leave this on for about 30 minutes. Even the bottle says 30 minutes at least for the Kama oil. Now let me tell you something. Oil doesn't necessarily have to be left overnight. As long as you're leaving it for about an hour, an hour and a half max. Or if you heat up the oil and put it, it really helps. If you can steam your hair somehow at home. With the oil on, that will just be amazing. Then even just half an hour is good enough for your hair. Um, for all of you who can barely get the oil out of your hair properly, here's a tip: instead of putting water straight on your hair and then shampoo when you're shampooing it, take the shampoo, put it all over your head and your hair a little bit, and then put the water on your hair when you're shampooing it. Because as you all know, oil and water don't mix. So over oil, if you're putting water first, it's already coated the oil, and the shampoo doesn't mix with it that well. So when you're washing it with oil on your hair, put shampoo first, and then water, and then lather up the whole thing. So now that I'm done with washing my hair, I am gonna tell you the biggest secret of curly hair. Well, the biggest secret of curly hair is no combing. Yes, that is the biggest secret of curly hair. Do not comb your curls. The only time I comb my hair is when I put on conditioner onto my hair and I comb it, and that's it. After that, I never touch a comb or a brush to my hair, simply because combing or running your fingers through completely opens your curls and it gives you just frizz. So no combing, no running your fingers through. And if you're wondering how I even manage then surviving with my curls and how the hair doesn't get messy. Well, it doesn't get messy because the hair is styled well, and you have product, and it just stays as it is. I just use my fingers and just tie my hair up, and that's the best part about curls. It doesn't; it just stays. So now that my hair is wet, the first thing that I normally always do is use a hair serum. I use a hair serum before I use my styling product because I feel the hair serum will give it the softness, and then you can add on anything that makes your hair a little stiff to give it the curl. So this one that I use. Is the Sublime Shine by L'Oreal, and I just take like three pumps. I use a lot of products on my hair. I'm very liberal. Even conditioner, I almost use like a palm full. My hair drinks conditioner. So when you're applying the serum, you need to put it mid to ends. Saturate both your hands with the serum. Rub it really well, and put it mid to ends. This is also where again you're combing your hair. And I pretty much put it through whatever little bit is left. I use it to smooth in the top, and then take it right through till the ends. This is also the time where I take out my parting. I take like a side parting when your hair is wet, and if you take out a parting, that is when your parting really stays. So if you coming to my styling products, I use um, two different ones depending. On what I really want. Actually, I keep buying products because 
That's the only thing I can use on my hair. So one I have the high definition curl leave-in cream from Be Blunt, and one is the Bedhead uh, Foxy Curls. This I've been using for years. The Bedhead products smell amazing. This one has like a toffee fragrance, and I love it. So in fact, my first video on YouTube, I think yeah, that was my first or the second one on YouTube, had a complete session on how I keep my curls. So this is the one that I'd use then. So I use about like a coin sized amount of the product and again I use it like the serum not putting too much on top but taking it more through the end cuz I don't want the top of my head to be stiff and if I do in my parting I'm going to take that out again This is where I scrunch my hair to get my curls back and make sure the hair isn't too spread out you can already see the curls being more defined if you want a different curl for your hair you can actually even twirl the hair around your finger like take the whole hair section by section and twirl all of it this will give you a very different kind of curl and then just leave it as it is you see this curl is quite different from the rest so now i'm just going to keep it back bad girl to look more than for sure right now all of you have seen like straight bits on my forehead well my hair aren't straight i actually have to blow dry that and in this monsoon season i have to iron it because it doesn't stay so i'm just going to quickly blow dry that I'm going to wait for the rest of my hair to dry. I don't use a dryer for my curls because I think a dryer makes it more frizzy when your hair or your curls when your curls naturally dry, it has a much better shape. It doesn't get frizzed. If you're using a dryer, make sure to use a diffuser fitting on a dryer that's for wavy to curly hair and that will keep the curls better, but don't use a regular dryer. Just let it dry. In fact, if you're washing your hair at night and if you sleep with your curls, you're gonna wake up with beautiful curls, but also a cold. So my hair is about ninety percent dry now, and this is how it's looking. I blow dried my fringe, so at least. whatever falls on my face looks nice and kempt and not curly and also a curly fringe just doesn't look good guys and suddenly I'm going the complete vintage way um I'm extra careful actually on my hair is all dried up and curled I don't like running my fingers through but these are the curls don't they look pretty I hope you all have loved the video. Thank you all who requested for this video and gave me the idea to do this. I don't know why I haven't yet done this till now. But anyways, love to all of you and keep sending in your requests. I would be very happy to do new videos for you all. If you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment below for any queries or just with your love. And don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and spread the love. TSC loves you all.